asked me, I would definitely say that every woman needs a fragrance in her collection, or maybe two, or even three, that she deems is classy, sexy, and clean. In today's video, we're going to do just that. We're gonna talk about fragrances that are clean, classy, and sexy. Yes, they will be perfect for spring, perfect for office wear, whether you're in-house virtually or at an office physically. They're the perfect fragrances that scream classy, sexy, and clean. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, then you should definitely continue watching. Okay, guys, I know you hear a little shuffling in the back. It's my dog, Dash, and he is having an absolute masquerade. Dash, can you give me a second? Can, can I please have a second? Y'all. So, guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya Felice. For those of you who do not know me, if you're new here, thanks for being here. I hope that you enjoy the content today, and I would love for you to become a part of the family by subscribing to my subscribers. Hello, good people. How was your week? Leave me a comment below. Let me know how your week was going. Guys, so today, as I stated, we're going to jump into classy, sexy, clean spring fragrances. Now, this video is in collaboration with Miss Cassandra Jones. I will be sure to leave her YouTube channel below so you can go and check out some of her picks for clean, classy, and sexy fragrances. So without further ado, and if Dash doesn't come back to interrupt us again, let's get started. Hey guys, why not give Dash some FaceTime? Maybe he'll calm down, Dash. Tell the camera hello. Say hello. <laughs> guys, I had to do something because he's going nuts. Okay, bye-bye. That's enough. Okay guys, so let's jump right into it. So the first fragrance that I chose for you is the epitome of the a classy lady's signature scent and it is none other than Tom Ford's Soleil Neige. Guys, this is sophistication at its best. When I first smelled this fragrance, I was not feeling it. But then as it began to grow on me, I began to love it. And it wasn't until quarantine that I really began to appreciate this fragrance, guys. It's carrot seeds, jasmine, notes of benzoin. I mean, it's just the epitome of classy, sophistication, and just a little bit sexy. I mean, sexy is in the eye of the beholder, but this right here, it's just the epitome of a classy, sophisticated lady scent. That is Tom Ford's Soleil Neige. So guys, this next fragrance is irrevocably, irrevocably classy. Classy, charming, all of the above. And this is none other than Christian Dior's Tay Cashmere. Guys, we have a little tea in here. We have smoke. We have rose. We have orange. We have lemon. If you ever watch any of my videos where I'm talking about a pretty girl fragrance or a pretty woman fragrance or clean, classy, all of the above, Tay Cashmere definitely always gets a spot because it is definitely a beautiful, beautiful scent. And in the months coming, I know I have some friends who are across the world and they're like, Tanya, we don't see spring in sight nowhere. And I follow you because I look at their pictures and they have snow for days. But over here, honey, we about to burn up, okay? I'm like, okay, are we storming and then freeze it and then burn it up? Can we get it together? Come on, Mother Nature, what we doing? But needless to say, Tay Cashmere is a beautiful choice for a classy, clean, sexy spring scent. Now it's not that edgy type of sexy like, oh, she's sexy. This is that sexy where you put on a nice dress, you maybe put on some nice jeans, some pumps, maybe put your cardigan over your shoulder, maybe tie your sweater around your neck and you just have such a sexy walk, but your whole look is well put together and it's clean, it's classy. That's where the sexy comes in, in this scent. Okay, guys, so Tanya, what is your next scent? This scent that I have for you next is clean, it's vibrant, it's effervescent, it's chic. Do you know what it is? It is none other than Chanel Number no. 5's Low. Listen, I'll put this on every day, every hour, in the night, in the morning. This is a scent that I can wear in and out of every season without me feeling like, Ooh, 
is it too much? Or, oh, is it too soft that it's done died away? It's just such a beautiful scent. So let me tell you some of the notes. We have neroli, orange, aldehydes, rose, jasmine, and ylang ylang. Guys, this is such a comforting, classy scent that I just, I reach for just unknowingly. It's, it's an easy reach. And so, um, I have a little dent in it, but I feel like it should be a bigger dent because I'm always reaching for it. Like if I had a signature scent on some days when I'm in the mood, it would definitely be Chanel number no. five low. So let's move on to something that's a little bit elegant, chic, but I'm going to also say has a little bit edge because of some of its notes. Now, this is none other than Tom Ford's White Suede. Definitely, definitely, definitely a clean and classy fragrance, but it steps in a little bit to the sexy, edgy, just a little bit. Now, not a whole lot, just a little bit because of that leather note that's in there. It turns it into something a little different. You all, We all know what Tom Ford does with his fragrances, and to me, this is one. It's classy, it's timeless, it's elegant, but it's edgy, just a little bit. And it's one that this is another easily reach, guys. I feel like with all of these clean and classy fragrances, it's nothing for me to just reach for them and put them on. But I will say this, this next fragrance, before I just reach for her, honey, I don't reach for her just for any occasion. I step into this fragrance, okay? Because she's a little bit bougie, a lot of classy, okay? And she's elegant in every way. And it's not other than my Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I just feel like, you know, I can have on my jeans and my t-shirt, my tights and my workout outfit. And I'll put on whatever fragrance I want to put on. But because the vibe that this one gives off to me, when I'm putting it on, Oh, you're going to see me, honey, because I'm going to come in stepping in the whole nine yards, okay? You might see me suited and booted, suited and pumps. You might see a nice fitted dress with the baddest pumps, okay? You might see some real nice jewelry that have all the way together. When I put on my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, I'm coming with the whole nine. She speaks class, elegance, a little bougie, honey, or a whole lot of bougie, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is just not me when I say I'm going to throw this on with whatever because I don't feel like putting on my Chanel. And when I'm putting on my Chanel, I'm stepping all the way to her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes. So that's my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. So, guys, what? Oh, wait. Stop. Did I give you some of her notes? We have Turkish rose, mimosa, um, bergamot, patchouli, and a little bit of musk. Okay. Tanya, what's next? Now, guys, this one to me is a classy, modern, clean, with a little bit of sexiness added to it. It could be worn by a male. It could be worn by a female. And it is none other than by Rado's Bow the Freak. Guys, to me, Bow the Freak is a quiet storm, honey. You see this person, whether it be he or she, standing there looking well put together, smelling dang gone good. But you just kind of look at my, mm. this one right here, guys, it took me a minute, okay? I bought it for my husband, and then guess who started liking it? That would be me. So it has a Amalfi Lemon, Jasmine, Violet, Musk, and Amber, and a plethora of other notes. Guys, this is definitely a beautiful scent that will definitely walk you right into spring and summer. And to me, it's perfect for summer because it doesn't do too much, but it does enough. Tanya, girl, what else do you have for us, honey? So, guys, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know. So far, do you have any of these scents? Or what do you put on when you want to feel clean, classy, a little bit sexy? What are you wearing? Go ahead and drop me a note. Now, this is all day meets modern day. And this is sophisticated, it's classy, it's vibrant, and it is homage Dia. Guys, this smells so good, okay? So good. At first, when I sprayed it, I said, hmm, 
This smells like something I already have in my collection. And what it reminded me of was none other than that Tom Ford white suede, but this has a little bit of something else in it. So it's peony, labdanum, incense, ylang ylang, rosewood, and plum. This is a beauty. Some days I like to take this one and I like to layer it with white suede because it just gives a nice musky vibe off. It's a little bit of sweet and I just love it. I love what it does. It's not too harsh on the musk. It's just absolutely perfect. So that is Amouage Dia. So this one, guys, this one right here, honey, is a rare, sexy scent. I call it an oldie but goodie. It's sensual glam at its best. And the um, story behind it is that it's just simply perfection for a woman's body with an unusual touch. And it's an oldie but goodie. Like I said, it is Givenchy's Hot Couture. Leave me a comment. Do you still wear your hot couture or have you ever even smelled it? Listen, talk about a head turner even today. If I put this on and wear it, listen, heads on swivel. This is so sexy, so classy. It reminds me of who was that? Marilyn Monroe. Sometimes she's sitting on this couch and he, she has this long cigarette. I don't know if she was smoking the cigarettes or not. I'm not a cigarette smoker, but honey, it was just her, that elegance that classiness, that regalness, that chicness. This is hot couture. Last, but oh no, not last but not least. My next one is, honey, this is sexy, clean, everyday. Like I said, this fragrance right here, this YSL Libre, it's whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be clean, it'll be clean. If you want it to be classy, it can be your classy scent. If you want it to be sexy, it'll be your sexy scent. It's all in how you step into it. Okay, so tell you what, you keep saying step into it. What do you mean about stepping into it? I mean, what you're putting on, how you're carrying yourself, what look you went for that day. That's what I mean by stepping into the fragrance. So if I'm running, just out running errands, jeans, cute t-shirt, okay, I'm chic and casual that day, right? But if I want to put my suit on and get all the way together, I'm going to be real classy. If I want to put my little black dress on, spray on a little fragrance, I'm going to be real elegant. It's whatever you put into it. And it has notes of my favorite, lavender, vanilla, ambergris, and musk. Guys, there, this is another one. It took a minute to grow on me, but when it did, <laughs> she did. And she's here to stay. Last but not least. This is regal, this is classy, this is well-crafted, this is freshness. This is classy, elegant, honey, whatever, the whole nine. And this is none other than Le Labo's Tate Noir 29. This girl does not get the credit that she needs. Guys, let me tell you some of her notes. It's black tea, fig, bay leaf, bergamot, tobacco, cedar wood, and hay. This is a well-rounded fragrance, well done. What I can say about this fragrance is it doesn't just move off the top and center notes. With this fragrance, I feel like all of the fragrances always play their part in such a beautiful way. Guys, this today, this is going to be my scent of the day. I, I'm going to go ahead and make you my scent of the day because I don't give you enough love, okay? I'm going to wait and see what my husband thinks about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm aware and see what he thinks about it. But guys, this is such a regal, a regal. Imagine when you think about regal, when you think about a woman in your life who's regal, clean, classy, chic, who is that woman? This Tate Noir 29 is that woman. If you never got your nose on it, guys, go get a whiff of it. They'll give you a sample of this scent. I always go with the smaller bottles because I want to be able to use them. Guys, I've already had a dent in this. I don't even know what I'm thinking about. It's so good. It's good. It's a compliment getter. But like I said, it's regal. It's regal. It's unique. It's what you want it to be. So guys, that's all for my video today. Be sure that if you don't have that fragrance in your collection that screams classy, sexy, clean, regal, the whole nine yards, go get you one. Maybe check out some of these fragrances on this list. If you have some of these fragrances, do you feel like they're clean, classy, sexy? How do you care to categorize them? And most of all, don't forget to stop by Cassandra's page to see what were some of her picks and be sure to collaborate with her. That's all for today, guys, and I will see you in the next video.
Bye now. So guys, this year, I, along with other YouTubers, applied for the Sephora Squad, and I would love for you to leave me a testimonial. Here's how you do that. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram at It's Perfectly Peachy, and look for this specific icon. There you will find in my story a link to my Sephora testimonials page. Thank you. So